Welcome to this tutorial where I will walk you through how to create this landing page lead magnet on Podia. And then I'll show you how to create an automation email series and review email features such as design, layout, templates, etc., that are available to you. So let's get started. If you're unfamiliar with Podia, it is an all-in-one platform that lets you run your entire business, including your website, your blog, your digital products, courses, community, affiliates, customers, and of course, what I will focus on in this video, email marketing in one place. If you'd like to learn more about Podia, there is a link in the description for you to get started with a free account. First up, the basics of Podia email. All Podia email features are free for everyone. For your first 100 subscribers, you can use all of the automations, campaigns, templates, tagging, etc without having to pay anything when you're first starting. All Podia email plans include unlimited email sends, segmentation, email scheduling, unlimited landing pages, which we will focus on today. So let's get building. I've logged into my free Podia account and I just wanna give you a quick lay of the land here, so to speak, to see where everything is in order to get started. So at the very top of the navigation, we have site, which is where we're gonna be creating our landing page on our free website that we get with our free Podia account. Next to that, we have products. And if we click on new products, we can then add in a name for our product and create a product. Only some products are available for free, such as the, you get one digital download and I think you have one coaching session that you can set up and the rest you'll have to upgrade. So we'll discard that. Next, you have community, which does come with a free account. Next up is email, which is where we will be spending most of our time on. Then we have audience, which is where people who sign up for your free download, your lead magnet will be ending up. And then we have sales. If you're going to be selling courses, digital downloads, that type of thing, that's where that will be. Right. So let's go over to the site, click on edit site, and let's get started. And as you can see here, I've already started to make my way through copying over the introduction content that's on my website over to this Podia account. So we've got our logo uploaded and I've got a first paragraph here and the rest is everything that comes with when you start a website. So let's get start building our landing page. To do that, we go over to where it says homepage, we click on that and we're gonna click on new page. We'll get our template, we'll get our navigation at the top, and we'll have our footer at the bottom. To add the content section to our landing page, we'll click this little plus sign here, and it'll open up a new window over on the left-hand side where we can select text, image, we can select a featured email form, a slim email form, or a bio. And then we have other options here, such as a grid or links or FAQs, testimonials, that type of thing. We're gonna start with an image and when we put in an image, we can also choose text. So we want the image and the text side by side. That's why we're choosing the image first. So you have two options when you click on image. You have choose image or search images. If you search images, you'll be searching Unsplash, which is a royalty-free option that you can go with if it's something generic. If it's something specific, in this case, we're gonna be using a choose image option. So we'll choose our image here and click that. And then we can describe our image. So we'll just put in a branding ebook. And for the image title, we're gonna put in free ebook who just to make it different. And then we're gonna just copy in our text, replace our lorem ipsum. There we go. And then if we, click on the design option of our image. We can reduce the image size by the width here, like so, 20% looks good. You can also change the alignment, but it seems like the alignment is really for the alignment of the text as it relates to the image. You can also change the width and you can also change the style. So you can make it into a card, which is what I like. So it'll give you a little shadow underneath, which is nice. You can also add a background image. So going back to content, that all looks good there. So what we're gonna do now is click on the plus sign over on our page to add in a new part of our page. Our options again, and then this time we're gonna select text. We get a pre-filled text option here and we're just gonna copy in our text and we'll put it right here. Now, one of the things that you notice with text uh, is that you can format the text in a variety of way. And it says here, type in the forward slash. So if we do that, we can see here that we can insert an image, a file, an embed. We can do a straight line. We can do formatting for the text, heading, large text, small text, and obviously a bullet list, which is what it pulled in. And it was able to know that it was a bulleted list. So that's a nice feature. So what I'll do here is I'll just take off you will learn to 
and I'll put that as the title and then that's good to go. Next, we'll add another section and this will be our email signup form. So click the plus again. And another nice feature that I'm noticing is that you don't have to click save every single time you create a new section or create something new on your page. It's automatically saving for you. So that's nice. So what we're going to do is going to do email form and it automatically drops us right below what we just created. And again, we can choose an image for this, but we will just change the title here to subscribe to receive your copy. You have the option here to tell people why they should sign up for your mailing list. I'm just going to get that out of there. And again, you see the formatting options that you have if you highlight text. And then the button we want to say, subscribe to download the ebook. And for the subtext, I think it's a good idea to say what people are subscribing to. And so they're not just receiving this free ebook, they're also signing up to receive emails from you. So that's good to keep that in there. And I just wanna add in marketing because there'll be marketing emails. The success message is up to you. You can say, thanks for subscribing. I think that's good enough. Or maybe uh, enjoy the ebook. And then what we wanna do is we wanna tag people in this form because it's gonna be connected to our campaigns. And I'll talk about campaigns in just a couple of minutes here. So I don't want to have an email form. I want to have ebook, which is something I've already created. But if you wanted to create a tag, you could do that here. So we could say ebook exclamation point, and it'll create that for you right on the fly. So we'll just keep it the one that we already have created called ebook. So that's the tag that's gonna be applied when a person signs up, makes sense? So that is all looking good. Over on the right-hand side, the top right-hand side of the page, you'll see something called saved, done, and published. Saved is automatically going on as you create things. Done is if you just wanna be done and not publish the page. So save it as a draft, so to speak, and you can go back and check it on your side of things before it's published to your website. Once you click publish, it'll be published to your website. So we'll click on publish. Once it's published, you have the option to click on view site. So we'll view site. It'll open up in a new window and it will take you to the page that you just created and you can see how everything is laid out. So from the page that we were just editing, what we'll do is click on the new page like so here on the top left and you'll see now we are basically on the global settings of your website. So we have an about page, a free ebook, a home page and something called new page. Now that's the new page that we just created. So if we click on page settings, it'll give us a title here that we want to add. So we'll do free ebook number two so that we know that it's different. And you can also set a URL for this, which is really nice. It doesn't have to be all of this auto-generated alphanumeric stuff. We'll delete that and then we'll add in free ebook two. And if we click off of that, it will automatically change our URL. So it has a show and hide option here. So if you wanted to not show a header, it'll remove the navigation at the top. Or if you want to have people explore the other pieces of your website on Podia, you can do that here. And you have the option down here to show in search or not show in search. And we're gonna go over here on the right hand side and click on publish one more time. To get back to the Podia dashboard, click on done, right? So we're back in our dashboard. Our next step is to create those automations. So we go into the email tab. You have two options, broadcasts and campaigns. Broadcasts are considered bulk email newsletter type of thing. Campaigns are a series of emails that you set with each campaign. So we're going to create a campaign which can contain a series of emails. Make sense? So we'll click on campaigns and you can see here we haven't set one up. So we'll click on new campaign. We're gonna follow the prompts here and we're gonna create our campaign. So our campaign name is gonna be called marketing ebook or branding ebook, something like that. Our from email, since I haven't set up a custom one yet, is gonna be the email at epodia.com with my name. Now our entrance conditions, we have several to choose from. Add it to audience, exits another campaign, joins a community, signs up for a product, tagged with, and wait lists for product. We're gonna select tagged with. And in our options here, so we'll select ebook and click apply. Our next option is the exit condition. When does a person leave this campaign? So in addition to the two conditions that are already existing here, it receives a final email from the campaign series or unsubscribes, obviously, then they'll be exiting out of this 
campaign. So we could add in additional conditions like joins a community, signs up for a product, or another tagged with. We're gonna leave it with receives final email or unsubscribes. Our next step is to create our emails. So we're gonna click on create a new email and now we are into the email builder system. The first thing to select is how quickly a person is going to get this first email. And so we're gonna say zero days. And for our subject, we'll type in, thanks for subscribing. Here is the free ebook. In the preview text, you can put in something like, would love to hear your feedback, hit reply, something like that. And then we have choosing a starting point for our email. Since we haven't created any previous emails, we only have a few pre-made templates to go from. One is a complete blank, and we have a few email templates to choose from. We're gonna scroll down here and select the lead magnet delivery email. You can preview it beforehand, so let's click on that. And uh, we'll go with that and click on apply template. And now we can start editing our email. Over the right hand side, you have global styles for your email. So in general, <laughs> the background colors, we might not wanna have this lovely yellow, maybe uh, something blue. That's the very background. And then we have section background and we'll do the same blue so everything matches. I don't know, we might do white on the background of the section. You get to play around with this. There's also a width component and horizontal and vertical padding that you can play around with. So just like to creating content in your landing page for your Podia website, you have these little plus signs and you can or create sections in your email as you go along. Anything that you see here that's already pre-made, there'll be additional settings for you to edit or to format. For instance, if we click on the top here, as you see here, it's called a header and you can do a logo or you can put in your site logo instead, or you can put in the site name, that type of thing. You can have whether or not you want to view in browser. So if you click on the text here, you have different options for that. And so if we were to put in an image then click on image and select our image of our ebook, put that in there can again make that smaller and we can increase the padding or the horizontal padding. We can center align it like that. We can put in alt text if you'd like. So for the text here, we can just put in thank you. And in the section here, we can put in our thank you text. Uh, we can keep in the first name since we're collecting the first name in our form. That's looking good so far. So we have our information in there. We have who I am, what do I do, and who I do it for. And then we want to add in our URL. If you did not have this file section example here that I have, you can click on the plus button here. And then down here, you'll see file. So we can click on that and it will add in the same options over on the right hand side. So we can say choose file or drag here. So we'll click on choose file. We'll click on our ebook and we'll click that. And then we can give it a name. So we can call it the branding ebook and we can delete this one here. And we can create something above, maybe a text format here so that we can say, click the link below and maybe add an emoji with an arrow like that. But you can, the option is here to add download instructions. I think we'll delete that. And uh, we'll delete these borders here, these separators. Uh, another a good option here that they're saying is to offer a discount code. We'll take that out as well. And some other lead magnet ideas, take that out as well. All right, so that is all looking good. Now our other options that we have here is to send a test. So we can click on send test. It will send an email to the email address associated with this Podia account. So here's our test and make sure that we can actually download this. So if we click on that, we should be able to download that. And yes, we can. So let's go back to our day zero email for our campaign. So everything is saved for us. And if we click on the done button, we have a couple options here. We can create another new email. We can finish later or we can delete it. So I clicked on finish later. It brings us back to our overall campaign. And you'll see here that we have our first email in our queue for our campaign. And we can add in additional emails to our campaign. But for this, I think we're done. So I'm gonna click on run and it will summarize what's going to happen. So we'll click on run campaign. Then we're going to go back into our free ebook page here. We'll fill this out and wait for our email to arrive. We'll say Larry and our email address like so, and click on subscribe to download the ebook. We should get a thank you 
right here, T up here. It says, thank you for subscribing. That was a little quick, I would say. And so we'll just wait for our emails to arrive. It took about 10 minutes for the email to arrive. And I don't know if that was because I used the same email address that was associated with my account. So it came in as a test again, but everything is working. Everything is formatted as I saw it in the email. And if I click on the branding ebook, opens up Adobe Acrobat and we're good to go. And if we go back to Podia, you can see here in our email dashboard, we have our campaign running. We have one email in our campaign, gives us a status and it says one is completed. Over on the right hand side, it gives you a snapshot of your analytics, at least for your campaigns here, where we have one sent, one open and one click. So as you can see, Podia has some great features, especially when it comes to email and lead magnets, which is what I focused on. I may do some future videos on more other aspects of Podia. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions about the process that I walked you through today, post those in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.